Sentence splitter is a part of transformations. After the data is loaded, you then need to process and transform your data before putting it into a storage system. These transformations include chunking, extracting metadata, and embedding each chunk. This is necessary to make sure that the data can be retrieved and used optimally by the LLM. So let's see how we can use this sentence splitter to split our document and create chunks that can be embedded and used uh, as a retriever. So let's import OS. I will write here import OS from get pass import get pass and then I will make hf underscore token and then I will call get pass and I will pass my API keys from here I will copy it from here and then I will paste it now let's create an LLM model that we are going to use from llama index dot LLMs dot hugging face import hugging face inference API hugging face inference API and then let's create our LLM model LLM is equal to hugging face inference API and then first parameter is model name and this is going to be mixtural model that I will just copy it from here and then I will paste it here the next parameter is token and this is going to be hugging face token and then I can print this LLM model so we have this model here now let's load a text file on which we will apply this sentence splitter I will write it from llama index dot core import simple directory reader and then I will make an object reader I will call this simple directory reader and then input files so I will pass the name of the file and the name of the file is llama index dot txt and then I will read this as a document so reader dot node underscore data now we can even look at this documents I can print it here so we have this document in that file and we have information about llama index now we are going to see how we are going to split this entire large document into chunks using sentence splitter so let's import that from llama index dot core dot node parser import sentence splitter sentence splitter and then from llama index dot core import settings let's make uh, an object text splitter to call our sentence splitter class inside this i will define our chunk size so let's say we will give it 700 and then chunk overlap is going to be 10 so you see that we are using sentence splitter here to create chunks and we have passed these two parameters and then let us execute our code we will use this settings so i will call here settings dot text splitter is equal to text splitter so we are just assigning this text splitter to this text splitter and now let's use this transformation so i will write here from 
so lama index dot core import vector store index and then I am going to create index here index is equal to vector store index dot from documents and then documents is equal uh, so documents is equal to documents and just pass this document as it is and then transformations is equal to what are the transformations we want to apply so we want to apply text feature first and then we will just use uh, embedding model embed underscore model is equal to local so now we will have our indexing and once we have indexing we can create a query engine and we can query our data so let's create our query engine query underscore engine is equal to index dot as underscore query engine and then I will pass a question what is llama index and then I will print uh, so this is index equal to uh, query engine this is this is incorrect I have to pass here LLM model not the question I'm sorry for that LLM mo model and then response now I'm going to pass this question query engine dot query and then I will write here what is llama index and then I will print response so we should get a response from this document Llama index is an advanced and versatile toolkit written in Python for building large scale knowledge graphs powered by AI models. It facilitates rapid development and deployment of intelligent applications and so on. So you can see that how we have used sentence splitter. So this is the place where we use sentence splitter to create chunks of our document and you can uh, play around with this parameter you can pass any number here to see what chunks suit best for your documents and to get the best result this is all for this tutorial i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching